two graduate filmmakers from the University of Salford are due to have their latest film screened in New York in just a few weeks' time. It's called Corruption 2, and it was shot on location around Greater Manchester. Well, we know where he lives, we know what car he drives. Go back there now and end him now. No chance. The police will be all over by now. There's too much to happen in an hour. Hey, princess. You've got a visitor on the way. Ooh, that sounds dramatic, doesn't it? Well, the feature film was made on a tiny budget, and by that, it almost was non-existent. Uh, Sean Cooper and Chris Gainsbury, who co-wrote and co-produced the film, are heading to Times Square for the New York's Urban Action Showcase Festival. And they're with us this morning. Good morning, T-Bag. I'll tell morning. you what, the, uh, the trailer often sells a film, doesn't it? And obviously we didn't see the images, but that just sounds gripping. Yeah, it does sound absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, over the last few years, um, since creating the trailer you know we've just worked from that sort of standard onwards how much work has gone into it then how long have you been working on it it's, we were saying this morning weren't we it, yes. it is three years yeah, yeah so we started um the project back in 2013 in our third year of university um we spent roughly five months writing it and a further um, four months filming it um, and then we took it into post-production for about a year and then we've spent the last year sort of um, trying to get it out out there to festivals. So stuff. you start it as final year students then so it's three years since then. How have you been mm. how have you been surviving? Well <laughs> we've, uh, we've literally just been working on it alongside what we do day to day in our own jobs you know we've so you've had it, you've been in the real world in the meantime oh yeah, yeah in yeah, a definitely. proper living and then doing this literally on the sideline yes well well yeah. done for sticking with it oh yeah um, and what rewards over to New York in when about just under three weeks yeah, yeah. Uh, the night for November we fly out and it's uh, been screened there on the 12th it's a good time of the year to go, isn't it? It's a very convoluted title, isn't it? New York's Urban Action Showcase Festival. And then there are categories within that, and yours is going to go in blood, sweat and tears. That's it, yeah. What's the reason behind that? Does that reflect the film, would you say? Yeah, so, um, you know, the, the film was made on sort of no budget whatsoever. Um, it was kind of solely down to um, working with people who contributed their time and, you know, things like um, equipment, props, you know. Um, we even went as far as... Um, having a vehicle provided by a, um, a dealership in Chorley called Nickerbrook Cars who, you know, they gave us a, um, a car to use in the film. So you've been learning the art of blagging, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's but the film about? Uh, well, it stems from uh, a, a previous film that we did as students um, and in that we only had two uh, central characters and from that we've drawn on from it with a full casting crew around that so there's like a 50 member uh, casting crew surrounding that and it, um, it's much a revenge based plot, it's uh, taking on those two characters um, and... And you've yeah. shot all around the North West and Greater Manchester in particular? You? Yeah, that's it. Um, over in Exton and Chorley, that's where our sort of house scenes were um, featured. So that's Is that your own my, house? My family home and really? my uncle's family home. Really? Yeah, yeah back in Exton. Uh, that's where our house scenes were based. Um, all the countryside scenery is from around there as well. And then the rest of the film, yeah, was shot all the way across Grand Central. So who's decided system. that this deserves a place in, in New York then at this festival? Well, we felt that, well, I believe they must have um, chosen it due to the sort of um, genre of the festival. Um, it's sort of focused around sort of urban action um, film uh, making. And, um, you know, with ours being sort of an independent uh, film um, ba uh, made on a sort of zero budget, you know, it kind of... Who do you quote as your inspiration then? Are you Tarantino's to be or...? Oh, at the time we were, it was, yeah. I should say Tarantino, <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah. We took a lot of inspiration from a film called Gone Girl, um, you know, the, oh, sound film, the soundtrack, um, you know, as much, e even the colour grading, um, stuff like that, it's, it was a really good uh, inspiration for corruption. It must have been great when it came to extras, because I can't imagine that you were short of volunteers, as you watch the film, are there like relatives, friends, 
colleagues well, somewhere in the background. We had a great casting process, didn't we? Mm. Back in uh, June, wasn't it, that we did yeah, auditions? Over, over at the University of Salford, um, we had uh, actors um, and extras come in from sort of all around Greater Manchester, even as far as, um, you know, I think it was uh, Leamington Spa was our furthest. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone is sort of locally based and, um, yeah, we were looking to sort of make the most of raw, um, you know, on, on her... So you couldn't talent. just walk into a park if your if your auntie Dorothy had always wanted to appear in a film. You weren't just going to put her in the you know the background of a scene. Well, we did actually. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's funny you should say auntie that. Dorothy's yeah. there. <laughs> it's funny you should say that because uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, my uncle did provide one of our house scenes, and naturally he ended up in the background for one of the shots because on the day we needed uh, a couple, didn't we? And is the film going to be anywhere that people here can see it apart from being in New York? Um, once we've been to New York. Um, we can finally publicly release it once we've uh, been to our festivals. Um, so we're publicly releasing in December. Yeah, we um, with an online release, aren't we? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'd say just keep an eye on our sort of social media pages and stuff. We'll be announcing the release date um, in a couple of weeks' time. And arguably the most exciting thing is it's going to be screened in Times Square. I mean, how incredible is that going to be? Just to be stood there looking up and there's your piece of work. Yeah, it's going to be mind blowing, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, not just Times Square; it's also going to be a full, full size cinema screen as well. Uh, up to now, we've only had the opportunity to screen in London and here in Salford, um, you know, on independent cinemas and small screens. But yeah, I'm really looking forward. It's to the that. first time in New York, and it's there for your screening of your own film. Yep. Yeah, not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. one. So presumably, hopefully, somewhere down the line, someone's going to think, well, either carry on making your own films, or you're going to get a job with a big one of the big production companies I don't know what would be more attractive for you exactly That's fingers kind of, crossed yeah we've got fingers crossed for that sort of outcome we can only see and if there's a, a sequel to this one if you need a couple of wayward radio presenters then you know we are available aren't we <laughs> we come cheap okay. there's well, no a, rider involved have a great time maybe ring you while you're in New York and see how you're getting on uh, yeah. Sean Cooper and Chris Gainsbury thanks very much Cheers. Uh, past great. University of Salford students with their film to New York that's about it from us for now we're back tomorrow for Friday's edition of The Breakfast Show uh, thanks for all your messages, Maureen. Sorry for not attacking.